What's up everyone? It's your boy Andrew. It is now Thursday about uh, almost 5 p.m. Might be like 5 p.m. if not a uh, 4.54 or some stuff. Some crap. Uh, going to the store right now. Going to Walmart. Gonna go buy some uh, disinfectant spray. Um, like the Lysol spray. And uh, I'm gonna buy some like refried beans, some hygiene stuff. Um, I'm gonna buy some uh, some sleeping aid. Some sleep aid? Sleeping aid, what the heck? I gotta buy some sleep aid because um, my body's so used to um, still getting up at like 3.30, 4 in the morning. And um, I've been kind of like still getting up at the same time. But obviously the gym is closed. So I do train at home. And then uh, some of you guys know I work at a brewery. Uh, I've been uh, killing it, helping out the kitchen. Um, the owner's been kind of rude. I give the person a benefit of the doubt because uh, they are worried that you know, the place might shut down, but they should uh, appreciate the few people that they have, you know, helping the place uh, stay afloat. And uh, they had a comment about the kitchen that even though, you know, we're all teaming up to, to run this place and to help out, you know, there's only a few of us, um, kitchen and the tasting room. Um, they said that Pizza is the only thing that's uh, really like carrying the place, and if we make it through, then we're gonna make uh, like a bronze type of like um, display of a pizza since uh, we helped out uh, keep the place afloat. My problem with that is that um, you should probably appreciate your workers. If anything, instead of getting a materialistic thing that to uh, to amp yourself up, you should probably appreciate the workers that kept the place afloat. And what I would do is take a picture of the crew to help you keep your business open. But like I mentioned to a lot of my uh, friends and colleagues, you know, um, some people, man, and people are telling me that, you know, a lot of people just think about themselves. So that's an example of that. So. That's the reason, that's the whole rant about how, why I'm gonna go get some uh, sleeping aid because I'd get home so late um, and my body would still wake up, you know, like shoot, a couple hours later where my body should be sleeping. So I don't wanna like drink, you know, to help me sleep. I mean, I should be tired, but working, you know, eight hours, no break having like over uh, 12,000 steps at least a day, you know, in an eight hour period. It's like, you know, it gets exhausting. So that's that, yeah, going to the store. Um, also, um, I'm gonna put a link down below. Um, I know like uh, hand soap, hand sanitizers are the thing right now, but even my hands, I mean, my hands are like, rough and dry from like lifting anyways you top it off with like washing your hands often and um you know using hand sanitizer gets really dry so order operations next up will be um other than you know being clean and being sanitized next up i would say is staying moisturized because we're so focused on toilet papers hand sanitizers and soap or so you know our skin's gonna break down and we gotta keep that moisturized so I'll put a link down below um, you know my Amazon store and like you know items that I suggest you should get uh, to help you get moisturized and stay well throughout the, you know these times and everything um, also there was like a, uh, some news I'm gonna 
do my best to get the article. I don't know how trusted it is or so. The first um, dog died and tested positive in coronavirus in China, like a Pomeranian. And I am uh, checking the sources and uh, like, you know, I don't totally like trust it because it's kind of like one one thing I read was like, you know, the dog was uh, wasn't really tested positive with coronavirus. The dog was like 17 years old, palm ring, and I don't know, but I'm gonna post it down below. Um, sorry guys, there's like a train. But um, yeah, also update on school since it's like you know coronavirus chronicles slash uh, respiratory therapy chronicles is um so tomorrow we're gonna start our uh, physical um, we were ordered to show up or at least call first to see um, if we're gonna do our physicals tomorrow on campus to get us ready for clinicals even though hospitals aren't really taking us um, you know to do clinicals and stuff but you know it was scheduled on March 16th to uh, for us to do our physical with a doctor after our exam but now it's um, supposed to be tomorrow which is um, March 20th 2020 so and then we're gonna resume classes but it's gonna be online on Monday they sent us uh, instructions on uh, how to do this usually um, they do have some type of orientation when there's something new online but these uh, dire times we gotta just I guess read the PDFs and all that and self-educate ourselves and how to do these things I, I'm sure it's fairly uh, easy hopefully at least but yeah going to the store right now trying to get some supplies brought some gloves you know, with me, just to uh, stay safe, stay clean, hopefully uh, not catch any coronaviruses. Many, many people are kind of uh, going out there with social gatherings, this is another topic, I know it's already been like a seven plus minute video, but a lot of younger people are still, you know, acting brave. going out and acting like it's not a big deal but like I said yesterday and possibly previous videos it's you know um, whenever we go out there and mess around and not care um, we're gonna be vectors for all of these um, you know viruses and stuff we're gonna be a carrier so um, it's not smart guys you know don't go uh, don't be going out there and spreading viruses because you want to be an idiot and have fun and act tough and all that because when you're dead, dead person can't be really that tough. So I'm at Walmart right now. Um, quite a lot of cars here than the usual, of course, since uh, this whole coronavirus thing's happening. Um, so yeah. About the park here. Um, another topic. Oh my God! It's already a nine-minute video. Is like uh, fresh vegetables. Kind of like sketched out since like um, the virus could like stay in your system. Stay in your system. What well, stays in your system? It can stay on like a surface for like a couple days. Um, this one I'm kind of like tripping out. Also, is that like if you um, buy fresh vegetables and like you know people touch it. Like, is that safe? Got a lot of questions. I mean, I typed it in on Google to see if, uh, is it safe to buy fresh vegetables? Like, you know, let's say celery. Uh, a friend of mine said he washes celery with like soap and water. Um, I feel like uh, celery is somewhat porous, you know, and I feel like the soap would go get into it. Um, and I'm not quite sure either if like those, um, soaps for vegetables which i don't have oh kill the coronavirus so a lot of questions uh look it up stay up to date but your boy here's gonna go it's a 10 minute video uh, always remember guys
go out there and lend a helping hand, but wash your hands, maybe wear gloves, someone in need, because if all of us do it, you know, at least one person, it would make the biggest difference. So, catch you guys later. It's your boy Andrew. Peace.